Okay, welcome to this short 10 minute uh, talk about history. Um, a welcome to the New Zealanders who are here for the next session. And I'm very honoured to have somebody whose talk yesterday did so much more than mine. Thank you for being here. Okay, I'm not wearing the um, Hong Kong Wikimania t-shirt because I get cold in the air conditioning. However, I would have been wearing it and I must say I was very pleased that um, yesterday there were a few people from the 2013 Wikimania who were wearing their t-shirt. Normally, if I was giving a talk, I would um, make sure I did my acknowledgement of country from where this came from. But because I've basically two short TED Talks to try to fit a lot in, I'll leave my acknowledgements to the session this afternoon, which I'm doing about Wiki Club West, and there'll probably be more acknowledgements than actual talk. So, when I went to Hong Kong Wikimania in 2013, 10 years ago, I became very aware of the relatively one-dimensional perspective, as I perceived it, of the explanation of a place or a building in Western Australia, Tasmania or Indonesia, which were the subject areas of my interest at the time. It was very close to conventional encyclopedia format. Maybe a single photo and an, an article, a short collection of key references for most topics and subjects of interest. Now, when I come to Singapore Wikimania 10 years later, I become absolutely enthused by the potential, I'm talking about potential, extra dimensions available for the editor or the contributor, the reader and the actual history of the item considered. So the point is that now we have Wikipedia, we have Wikisource, we have Commons, including structured data, and we have Wikidata. When you combine all of these together, what happens is that the dimensionality to the information that you can have about a thing or a place is just amazing. The potential for each of the uh, identified parts for the larger project is able to offer depth, depths of knowledge well beyond the conventional encyclopedia entry. So whereas in 2013 we were talking about our parallels with um, EB, Britannica, as being on a par because we were relatively one-dimensional, now Wikipedia is in a, just an absolutely amazing space. And what is interesting is that um, the original idea for the longer version of this talk was relative to the issues that come from Stephen and from Julian. I've met Julian, but I, I don't think he can remember me. But Stephen, oh, uh, conflict of interest alert, we went to university together. He's now the professor, I'm the Wikipedian. OK, well, close to professor. So. What I would have liked to have elaborated on was how the Perth foreshore, on Wikipedia, we have the Perth foreshore development and the preceding item, which is the uh, Esplanade. Now, Wikipedians went at some length. It would be like people in Auckland going out and looking at a part of the harbour where there's suddenly a new construction and to see what was there before. We were extraordinarily lucky. Wiki Club West, in its earlier manifestation, was able to go out and on what was available at the time, get material into English Wikipedia, into Commons, about the earlier stage. Now, Perth foreshore is almost like parts of the Singapore River. The, the development of that would be a half hour talk somewhere over a coffee if anybody really wanted to. The Feng Shui is astonishing. But the important thing on Wikipedia's part is that we had the capacity in Perth to actually go as a group and have a wiki takes before all the developments happened on Perth for sure. And we've had a follow up since to show the difference. So whereas Stephen was talking to people who had been on the river long before all the big construction, um, we were there doing stuff before Julian. We probably even gave Julian ideas, but he wouldn't 
that doesn't necessarily acknowledge this. The whole thing, the whole crux of what I'd like to, if I was to reduce this to even less than a TED talk, is what we have available now is just so amazing to, compared to what we had 10 years ago. And it's really important that if we have groups or people who have the capacity to organise and go out and record something before it's either changed or demolished, then it's very, very important we do it. And the positive result you can see from this is the way that um, the way that the Wiki Club West people have got the information. It hasn't been collated into a narrative like um, Bolitor or Dobbs, so so they've got the conventional uh, narratives, but the component, the potential is there. And what's fantastic about coming to a Wikimania all these years later, 10 years later between Hong Kong and now, is that I look at what we can do, even just inside Commons, the sorts of things we can do to the imagery that we've got of Perth Foreshore before it turned into a, whatever you like to call it, it, the potential there is just so amazing. One of the main things for it is to actually teach, to actually get people to understand the relationships between the projects. I could have given a huge elaborate graph of all the potential linkages that one can do between data, commons, source and English Wikipedia. And they just simply haven't been um, explored or exploited. So it's a hope that groups in a place where there is a, a lot of change in the community have the capacity to take a snapshot, to take the latest snapshot and to, and to link. That's the extraordinarily important thing, is to be able to link or to get people to help you to link the, the between data, common source and, and English or whichever language you're in. Um, so I would really like to um, say that I, I pay respect to the Wajuk Nungas, who are the people who live on the Swan River. I'll, I'll probably try to give a more elaborate um, uh, acknowledgement of, of them and a few others that have managed to help me get to um, Wikimania in 2013 and Wikimania in 2023. It's been an amazing experience. And this afternoon, a slight more elaborate version on what a group, local group can do is we've got a, a talk just slightly longer than this one about Wiki Club West. So I'm um, before time. I would like to uh, thank you very much for turning up. Enjoy, enjoy the, the, the New Zealand uh, content next. It's very, very important because being Oceana uh, partners in the larger project, we value the New Zealanders probably more than they realise because we're able to um, even get their talents to come to Australia every now and then. So they are very much appreciated. Thank you to the support crew. Thank you to the COT and to Wikimedia Australia for the opportunity to be able to do this. Because after 10 years, I've actually managed to sit, stand in front of a microphone. Uh, and I will never forget Mike Dickerson's uh, at ECAP 1, inspiring a whole range of issues in Australian um, project, which has just been so valued Thank you so much. Thanks again.